Hey guys, John and Pat here. We are surviving on the cheap. As a uh, unit. Together. Although currently we're not really surviving, we're just inside of a man hut. With guns. And, and a deer. And an elk. Show them, just show them. That's been above us the whole time, you just haven't noticed it. Look at that. Yep. Anyways. Killed nice, it myself. Nice ass crack. Uh, back to Earth. Um, as you may have seen in our other videos, we're doing uh, Expedition Washington soon, as we called it. It's the French way to say Expedition Washington. We're climbing Mount Washington. Yes. In the winter. January 13th, 14th, 15th, was it? Sounds good to me. Sometime around then. Today we're going to be showing you the backpacks that we're using on the trip. My backpack is a Kelty Red Cloud 90, which you're probably like, oh shit, that's expensive. Bought it on sale. What up? Still cheap. John, what what up? Yours? So, my, pack, my backpack is the uh, Teton Sports Outfitter 4600. Kind of a beast. It's As really is yours, though. though. Yeah, they're both. If you want to just take a look at them. Like I was playing from. I can't. Damn. It's so good. Oh my god, look how big. They're a monster. They take up the whole screen. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so we'll be talking to you about our packs real briefly. Um, John, you can go first about yours. So, it is a 4600 liter pack, which is. 4600. I mean, 4600. No, excuse me. 4600 cubic inch pack which is around 75 liters or so. And I usually wouldn't want to take a backpack that big, but in this case, we need the extra space because uh, yeah, a, lot of stuff. a lot of puffy gear. Because it is going to be the middle of January, and uh, or towards the end of January. In the middle, 13th, 14th. That's, that's exactly true, that's true, exactly in the, exactly in the middle. middle. And it's very cold, so uh, I'll have to have a year. But I mean, not, not to go too much into it, but it's, I mean, this is the back. Pretty rake, nice. Rake whistle. Got a great adjustment. Got wishbone construction down here. Look at that, like a chicken. Wishbone. <laughs> nicely ribbed, nicely padded. Going to be very, very good with the sweat. But yeah, so I mean, I'm not. We're, we're going to actually do re full on reviews of these two packs post, after they've been post trip. Well I've used this once, but it wasn't too extraneously. So I'm going to real put it to, put it through the the ringer on this trip. But yeah, so. I mean, huge, it's like a stove, stove, what do they call it, stove pipe style, big tube, amazing, big tube. It's a tube with straps on it. Yep, yeah, can access it from the side, which is handy if I need to reach in there and grab something. Overall, overall, just, pretty, I mean, nice pack. pretty nice pack. And so, it's light, that's, the, that's yeah. a good thing. Oh, act, yeah, very light too. This is part of their summit series of packs. Very fitting, considering we're going to a summit. This is true. Now, uh... I'll talk about my Kelty. My Kelty is the Kelty Cloud 90, which is 90, uh, 90 liters, which is uh, some cubic inches. <laughs> um, I don't know. We're, but, not, um, from we're, not, we're not from that, that Canadian place or whatever it is. Or Wait, cubic inches is, is United States. You bought a foreign pack. Where's that made? In Kelty, Australia. Um, but it's a nice pack, big, big pack, um, great. But when I bought it, it was literally packed down to that thin. So, I mean, it's big, but can fit a lot. Very, quite compressible. That's what's nice about both these packs. Yeah, they have compression both. straps all over the place. Literally so all down. over. Make them small. But um, right now, the only thing I have in it is my sleeping bag, which is down at the bottom there. But it's a great, comfortable pack. Uh, on the back, it has two metal bars that go up that you mold yourself. I already pre-molded this to myself. Um, so it fits my back. If you were to put it on, it'd feel uncomfortable because it's fitted to me. Unless you're the same size as me. It's got what they call cloud lock suspension, which is great because it basically, I don't know, it's, it's this, Mad adjustable. This, it's very adjustable and it has this nice, it has more metal bars supporting here. So it's a very, very supportive pack. Nice, nice lower back. Uh, bar support. Lumbar bar support. Cup holders. Yeah, there's cup holders. Standard. Side, everything. And it's got these little, these little that's so cool. Um, also, a cool thing, the top of mine comes off, and it's a fanny pack. Mine too. Just like John's. If you're down with that, I'm not. So if, if we're all about, like, getting real nerdy on the top of the mountain, we can. Um, his material, he has ripstop nylon. I do. I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's ripstop coot, too, because it has diamonds. It's a diamond weave, so they're both very, very yeah, well made. Um, That's what makes them really lightweight too. It's like a full nylon pack. This one, I mean, what, what do you think? Which one's a, which one's heavier? Mine has a sleeping bag in it. Mine does too. I mean, mine is a little bit heavier. But, I mean, that might be the weight of the sleeping bag. But my sleeping bag is pretty, pretty uh, heavy. But um, how much was yours? My pack, I bought off of Amazon.com. It was a hundred bucks. This pack, 
a little, a little bit more. It was two hundred dollars, but it was on sale, so it was one hundred and forty dollars, which is actually a really good price for a Kelty. Um, Absolutely. So this has yet to be used in a camp hiking backpacking environment, but so we're gonna see how it is. But um, I have a feeling that's gonna work great because Kelties are known really for their their quality, everything like that. And there are so many pockets that you have. Oh my god. I could I could disassemble a human body and fit the whole thing, one piece of the body in each pocket in this. Been done. I actually did do it, that's the first test. Not by us. But yeah, um, that's it. that was our shortest video yet. That's what we tried to do. Uh, it was oh, that was good. That was six minutes. We didn't. You guys didn't learn anything in this no, video. No, but it was great. But you did get to see we our packs. Your interest. Yeah, you, get, you did get to see. You got to so, see our cool. sacks. On that note, uh, it's time to end. Adios. But we'll we'll see you guys next time. We'll be talking about some more Stuff. updates about our expedition, Washington. Yep. <laughs>